How in the world are you doing today? I am back, guys. I know I've been off for a little bit. You know, sometimes you got to take some days off so you can uh, meditate on the Word of God, you know, so that God can use you mindedly. Amen. But without further ado, I got a word for you this morning. I believe that you're going to be blessed by this word very much. So let's go to the book of Ezekiel without wasting any time because I know we're living in the last days and we're going to need to really get deep and deep and deep into the word of God. Um, we lack in a lot of uh, sound doctrine preachers. There's not many out there. But today, I promise you that you're going to be blessed by this word. Well, that's if you have respect for the word of God. Many people don't have respect for the word of God right now. It is the most essential thing in this world. Buy it and sell it not. As the Bible says, buy the word of God, but sell it not. Buy wisdom and sell it not. Buy the knowledge of God and sell it not. Because no money can buy you eternal life. It's in the book of Ezekiel chapter 18. And we're going to start from verse 20. And it says, the soul that sin, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Now, here's the verse that's going to catch your attention. All right. Many people are saying that God is a God of love. It is true. But God also is a just God. If you keep sinning throughout your life and you think that you're going to get away with murder, you are deceived by the devil. In this verse, God is going to give you the difference between somebody who used to live in sin and after they repent from their sin and forsake their sin, how he will forgive them. And he also will give you the difference between when somebody called himself a Christian or a righteous person they were living in righteousness all their lives I don't know how many years it could be 20 30 50 years right and then they decided they want to live in their own righteousness and they start sinning that's God is also going to show you the difference if that person does not continue until the end he's not going to be saved all right there's no such thing as save always save if the person go back into their sin okay we're not robots people can people does have uh, people do have free will to go back to their sin all right let's start from verse 21 let the bible speak for itself many people interpret the bible their own ways but they don't let the bible speak it says what but if the wicked in verse 21 if the wicked will turn from all his sins that he had committed and keep all my statutes and do that which is lawful and right he shall surely live he shall not die plainly all right verse 22 and all his transgressions all his transgressions that he had committed they shall not be mentioned unto him and his righteousness he had done he shall live so now god is telling you about the wicked somebody who is to smoke drink fornicate causing committed adultery whatever sin you can name if that person turn around and come to god god will forget all his sins and he will forgive him comprendo now if the persons now who was righteous goody two shoes serving god singing in the choir you know having 21 days fasting studying the bible quoting scriptures and all that stuff what you do doesn't matter to God unless you do it until the end, my friend. That's how the Bible works. Now, let's look at um, the verse 23 where God asks a question here. He said, have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die, said the Lord God, and not that he should return from his ways and live? You see, that, that's what God wants for her, the homosexuals, the LGBT, the lesbianism, the, the transgenders and the drag queens. That's what he wants for all of us to turn from our sins. I mean, <laughs> come on, give me a break. 
what first of all how did we get into trouble how did the world get into sin it started from the beginning when adam and eve sinned against god now we live in these days where these preachers don't even touch the subject of sin sad but it's true i mean why would you call yourself a man of god if you don't preach the word of god why would you call yourself a man of god if you don't agree with the word of god i mean for, give me a break why do you even carry a bible in your hand why do you even carry the word of god when the prophets used to go to to the children when the prophets used to go to the to um to god's people what do you think he was preaching to them they were preaching the word of god if you call yourself a man of god you should preach the, the word of god not to uh sugarcoat the message and preaching um, uh, um sugary messages to the people you need to tell them what they'll say the lord the word of god speaks clear plainly against sin my friend against sodomy god let fire and brimstone come down from heaven to burn sodom and gomorrah exactly because people were going against strange flesh he said even the angels that sin against god he did not let them escape for free now they are in in hell right now bound and chained waiting for the day of judgment he did not spare these angels you think he will spare the people in our days there's a lot of people going to hell my friend and the thing is people think that just because there are so many billions of people on the earth all right living they think that hell cannot receive all those people the bible says that hell has no measure my friend hell enlarge itself to receive the people at their coming my friend people don't read the bible i don't know what kind of bible they're reading they must be deceived by the so let's go back to uh, ezekiel chapter uh, 18 to finish the rest verse 24 says what but when the righteous turn away from his righteousness that's what i'm saying so the righteous can be living righteous it doesn't matter if he's in the old testament it doesn't matter a righteous person is a righteous person in front of god that means that person keeps the law of god keeps the word of god keeps the ways of god but when the righteous turn away that means he turned away from righteousness now he's going back to wickedness he backslide i don't care if you tell me you were saved 10 years ago or 50 years ago it don't matter you turn back from to, to go back you turn away from god now you're going back to sin he said but when the righteous turn away from his righteousness and committed iniquity and doeth according to all the abomination that the wicked man doeth what is abomination fornication is abomination in front of god witchcraft warlock sorcery murder um homosexuality this is an abomination before god so now they start living their life like the wicked what do you think you're gonna get all his righteousness the lord said that he had done shall not be mentioned it don't matter if you burn yourself for the poor if you give to the poor that's the reason why all these celebrities that's given to the poor it don't matter because they're living unrighteous life they're living not just before the lord here they go doing all these abomination right they're making movies filthy movies cursing you know um dressing butt naked nude nudity is like all over the chart cussing taking god's name in vain and now you're gonna do charity and you think that's gonna save you a, a, a spot in the kingdom of god and many people are supporting them it don't matter what good you have done god wants you to live right before him he said that he um all the righteousness that he had done shall not be mentioned amen and his trespasses that he had trespassed and his sin that he has sinned and them shall he die god don't care what you have done my friend you must continue the christian lifestyle is a life until the end not a life that you know you do it for a couple of days a couple of months a couple of years and then you go back to the world that's mean you are not saved you are living in the flesh many of these preachers ain't gonna preach this gospel what did he say he said all the righteousness that he had done will not be mentioned god won't even mention what you have done the same way he won't mention what the 
wicked person had done because he forgave the wicked. The same way when the righteous turn from his righteousness and go back into sinning and backslide into the world, backslide into fornication and start dressing like sluts and prostitutes and you start talking like the world, smelling like the world and supporting wickedness and following sodomy and homosexuality. God will not even mention what you have done. It don't matter if you give to the poor, if you give into Africa, into Haiti, into all the poor countries of the world. It don't matter what you have done if you don't continue until the end. That's why Jesus says, those that endure until the end shall be saved. So you better watch out how you live for God if you think once saved, always saved. If you are once saved, always saved, why would you even consider going back to sinning? Because if you're a new creature, why would you even think going back to your vomit, to the old lifestyle? That means there's a problem there. There's a work that was not done and completed in your life. You understand? So then, if you are saved, my friend, what is the most important thing Jesus says to the disciples in Acts 2.38? Paul said, repent. Repent of what? Repent of your sin. If you repent, you got you have godly sorrow against your sin, against the wrong that you've done against people. Then be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And then if you continue in the in the doctrines of the apostles. You don't go back to sin. You don't go back to misery. In fact, the Bible says that we are not those that draw back into perdition, but we believe in, in the saving of the soul. You know, after you taste the goodness of God, you know what? You want to go back to the devil? The devil that hates you, that wants you to bring you to hell with him so he can burn and turn to fire? My friend, if you're listening to this message right now, stop living a, a lukewarm Christian life. You need to really give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Or if you die in your sin, you're going to hell. I don't care how much you say you are saved. I don't care how much liberal you are. I don't care how many times you've been in church. You better work out your salvation until the end with fear and trembling before the Lord. That's your only hope to make it. Do not be deceived, the Bible says. And if you're in your sin right now, repent and get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Not in the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Ghost, but in the name of Jesus Christ. See, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are titles. They are just titles. You need to get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's the only name that make demons trembles and principalities trembles. That's the name that was given into heaven that is above every name. May God bless you. May God keep you. Live a righteous life unto the end because the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back. God bless you. Subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, don't. God bless.